BBC News with Neil Nunes. The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the Pentagon Chief Lloyd Austin have arrived in South Korea for talks a day after the sister of the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un issued a warning to the Biden administration not to cause a stink. A U.S. intelligence report has concluded that Russia used a range of methods to denigrate Joe Biden and boost Donald Trump during the recent presidential campaign, but it found no evidence that any foreign country tampered with ballots or the counting of votes. A respected Brazilian public health institute says the country's health service is on the brink of collapse, with most states' hospitals running out of intensive care capacity as a result of the coronavirus. Police in the U.S. state of Georgia have said video evidence suggests it's extremely likely that the same man carried out shootings at three massage parlors in and around the city of Atlanta. Eight people are known to have died. A 21-year-old man has been arrested. Niger is starting three days of national mourning after 58 people were killed by gunmen in two separate attacks near the border with Mali. Residents of the western Tilaberi region said suspected militants targeted vehicles carrying traders returning from local markets on Monday. A district court in Japan has ruled that not allowing same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. The current definition of marriage hinders gay couples when it comes to issues such as inheritance and family rights. And in sailing, the America's Cup has been won by the defenders' team New Zealand. They beat their Italian rivals Luna Rossa 7-3 in the best of 13 races. It's the fourth time that TMZ has won the cup. BBC World News.